What's going on YouTube? It's me VM Sultan back with another video from VM Tech. Today I will be doing a quick tutorial on how to stop or remove the update for a Samsung devices without root. So we are familiar with the problem in case of Samsung devices which was released on year 2015 and before. That is when we officially update the TouchWiz OS to the latest version of Android it brings up some bugs which was not there in the first build so naturally we downgrade to the first build itself. But the problem is after downgrading it as soon as connected to the Wi-Fi it will automatically start to download to the latest version of the TouchWiz OS officially which has about 600 to 700 MB in size which we do not need. But there is no any way provided by the Samsung to cancel the update other than routing the device. So when this problem comes for me, I had searched almost every site in Google and everyone are suggesting to root your device and freeze the app, which I don't want to do. But one day I figured a simple and easy way by myself to solve it without routing. So today I'm here to share my idea with you. Basically what it does is the same. It will also freeze the app that does the action of updating. Also keep in mind that after you have done this process and again if you need to update to the latest build of the TouchWiz you need to flash it manually by using OD. So now let's get into the process. Now as you see it's downloading the Lollipop version. So firstly we need to note the name and version number of the app that does this action. For that press and hold on the download progress bar in the notification and go to its app info. Now note down its version number because that's the only way to get the correct application from its actual folder. So here you can see it's 3.1914 etc. So after that you need to download a third party file manager where I recommend to use ES File Explorer because it's free and easy to navigate and locate the app. After installing ES open it. So now as you can see although my device is rooted for screen recording I has not allowed a root access for the explorer which means I am doing it just like a non router device does. Ok, now go to the device storage then locate and enter to the system folder. Inside the system folder go to private app now search for the same icon with the same version number which is 3.1914 etc. So the first app has the same icon but not the same version which means it is not the app that we are looking for. So here is the app that have same icon and same version code which means this is the app that does the update function. So after locating the correct version of app just give a tap on it and press install. Now you can see the update notification has gone. But if we reboot the device or reconnect the Wi-Fi again it will automatically start to download again. So to freeze the application permanently, install it once more and reboot your device. So I will be back after rebooting it. Now as you can see there is no any update popping up when we reconnect to the Wi-Fi. Also I will just show you how does the update button works in settings. So go to settings about device and software update. Now when we press on the update button there is no any action which means the app has broken completely. Now you know how simple it is and how to do it. So now it's your turn to share the information to your friends too. So be sure to share the video to them. I think it should work to almost every Samsung devices. And please note that I had tested it with only Galaxy A3 2015 version. Also while locating the app double check the version number for the both. If you have any problem or queries regarding this let me know it in the comments below. I will try to help you if I can. If you find this video helpful be sure to hit that like button. And for more content from me hit that subscribe button. So it's me VM Sultan signing out from VM Tech which is very much about tech. Take care.